Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today, I have for you guys my August favorites. And these are things that I was loving in August. I mean, what? What? For today's video, I have for you guys my October favorites. And in this video, we will be talking about everything that I was loving in the month of October. So let's go ahead and get into these products. I got my whole little basket here. And we're just gonna go ahead and get into that. So I'm just gonna reach in here and start with what's on top and then go from there. Okay, so I actually have two brush, three brushes. I have three brushes in this month's favorites. So first off, your girl started cleaning up her brows when she does her makeup, whether it's an everyday look or it's a super glam look. Now, so for the first brush, thank you, Corina, because when you came to my house and you cleaned your brows up with this brush, I was like, let me copy her. So when Karina came over and did her brows with this, I was like, I got to try it. I got to try it. But for reals, you guys, I love this brush for cleaning up your brows, like, because it's so flat and it's just perfect for like, I don't know, I love it, it's good. If you have it, try it. If you haven't used this brush, if you have this brush and you haven't used it to clean up your brows, try it. The next brush is actually another Alamod Cosmetics brush, and this is her bronzer brush. Now, what I have been using this for is cream blush. I love this for blending out cream blush. Like, I feel like it does it so effortlessly and flawlessly, and you can actually just push, and it blends it out. You're not tugging, so that is why I love this brush. I'm going to try to keep this short, be keep descriptions short, you guys, because... I have a lot of products. So the next thing I have is the ABH A30 brush. Now what? This is actually their foundation brush. So this is actually the brush that came out with um, their foundation that they had came out with. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. But I love this for what my makeup routine recently, which is just spot concealing. And I love it because it's one and done. So you can blend out your, your concealer like all over the face with this. And it's really great like if you tap it out because it goes really fast. But not only is it like perfect for all over the face, but it's perfect to get right under your eyes. So you're not having to worry about getting another brush to get up in there because it is so small that it can get under your eyes as well. So one concealer that I fell in love with, uh, Karina gave this to me. I haven't had it in so long, like I forgot what it was like. But I specifically love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for cleaning up my brows. It's good for under the eyes for natural days, but I love it for cleaning up the brows. Like it's just perfect for that because it's not too thick, but it's not too creamy. And it has good enough coverage to clean them up. Like that's what I love this concealer for. Okay, the next thing I've been loving are actually some really really natural lashes like these give my lashes a little bit of a oomph like to where if you apply these perfectly people probably wouldn't even be able to tell that you have on lashes so these are the Ardell Wispies lashes and these are just the Wispies this is what the box looks like it has the stripes on the side I love these because they look so pretty on your most natural days even if you don't want to put on makeup but you want your eyes to look more open you could throw these on and you're gonna like I don't know, these are so pretty for really natural days. Now, if you're a super glam lash person, you're not gonna like these. But if you're like me and you can go like back and forth, like, okay, I want something super natural. Okay, I want something super glam. Or if you only like natural lashes, check these out if you haven't already. I really, really like these. So the next thing I have is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. Now, I really need to get this in my shade because I love this powder, you guys. When they say that this makes your skin look so poreless and it doesn't make you look dry like they're not lying this powder is so good if you haven't tried it tried it out i love this for under my eyes as well as all over my face and it really does make you look poreless a lot like their bb cream does or their what is it called their skin milk 
that broke me out but it did make your face look like a baby's butt before it broke you out well broke me out it was really good but anyways this powder is just as good i haven't experienced any breakouts from this powder so powder does not break you out if the found if the little foundation thing broke you out you should be safe with the powder Okay, the next thing I have is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a lot of these products today, you guys. But the only thing I have on my lashes today is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. You guys, this mascara is so good. It really does add length while volumizing. And Essence just comes with some, like, make some of the best mascaras. I like their Lash Princess one, but not when I first buy it. Like, with the Lash Princess one... I really feel like you have to let it dry out before you get its best performance. With this one, as soon as you buy it, you're getting a one top-notch performance. And this is only $3.99, so it's either $3.99 or $4.99, but still cheaper than most mascaras at the drugstore, and it is bomb.com. Like, you try it out, you guys. Like, seriously, try it out. Okay, now this is a funny thing because when I bought these foundations, one of the ones I bought was too light and the other one was too dark. One was way too oily, even for my dry skin, and one was way too dry for my dry skin. But since I had already bought them and I own them, I love this foundation combo together. It's like the best coverage you will get and the best finish you will get. So, this is the Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Perfector, and this is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation, High Coverage Foundation Formula. So, this is the coverage foundation, not the serum one, because they look pretty similar. This is the coverage one. Now, I mixed these together just because one was too light and one was too dark, but the finish on my skin is perfect for my skin type. I'm normal leaning dry but if you're oily do not grab this foundation because you will not like it because it was way too oily for me this one was a little bit too dry for me but together oh my gosh and I will have to do like a specific video on it but like show you guys me applying it but together you guys this was so flipping good cut it out like so good like I can't even explain how good it was like it, I love it so one thing that I did fall in love with is the essence the blush and these are $2.99 and this one is in the shade befitting it's just this really pretty mauve tone but pink blush go to y'all's room and close the door but it is just so good like and it, and it lasts and it's pigmented it's pigmented but it's blendable and so you're not gonna look clown face if you apply a little bit too much it'll blend right out Okay, so we have three more things to talk about, you guys. And the next, okay, so the next thing I was loving or fell back in love with was my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. Now, this one is in the lace shade. It does have a little bit of a yellow undertone. I remember Casey Holmes used to swear by this, and that's why I picked it up. But she always said, you want the lace, not the banana, because the formulas are very different. So anyways, this is this luxury powder. But she did always say, like, get the lace, not the banana, because they're two very different formulas. And the lace one really does. I haven't tried the banana because I wasn't even going to go there. She said it emphasized texture. Texture. So I went ahead and went straight in with the lace. And I do agree, you guys. This smooths out your face. It sets the under eyes down, not those shoes under eyes down beautifully so this the next thing i was loving and i don't know for 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 glam days y'all because this could be a little bit much but one thing i fell in love with was the elf brow or liner and brow cream it's so good i have mine in the shade medium brown that's just what it looks like the sun is starting to peek through the clouds so anyways I really like this. It goes on it's so smooth. It's super to blend out. If you mess up because it's so creamy, it's easy to just wipe off. Start again. That I, This is just so good. It lasts all day. I mean, it's a brow cream. It's not moving if you put it on. So, I mean, if you don't like super creamy pomades, though, I wouldn't use this one. So, the next thing I really, really like is actually, like, that I fell back in love with. Like, I don't know. I just randomly grabbed it one day, and I was like, I'm going to use this. Is my Wet n Wild sponge. Like, the coverage that this thing gives you, you guys, is so good. It's super soft. A little bit tough to clean, but not too tough. 
and I don't know, like it's just so good and it makes your makeup look smooth. It gives you good coverage. It doesn't absorb too much product. And like the even the way it applies it powder is super good. So I really do highly recommend this sponge. So those are all the things you guys that I was loving in the month of October. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.